Persephalis has written my margin satrapy. It really deals with the life of satrapy as she's growing up, specifically during the Islamic Revolution. And it showed the changes in the culture, how much she has to deal with these differences. Also specifically with her own struggle to be herself because she loves pop culture. And now with this new religious culture that has come into Iran, things changed and she finds herself as a very young girl struggling with different aspects of herself. Persephalis is very significant in the West and I guess in the world for one primary reason. It introduces us to Iranian reality, to how things are in Iran today. Nobody captures it as well, as beautifully and as clearly as she has. She deals with various aspects of life in post-Islamic revolution Iran. She deals with the challenges to talk to individuality in such a culture and she shows the complexities of that culture in a way that you only knew in either limited form or stereotypical form about what's going on in Iran. And so she actually open the eyes of people in the world to how to negotiate with Iranian culture and so in that sense it bridged a gap that was missing uh, until this book came about. What I personally like about this title is Sotrapi's personality. It's one thing you cannot escape. She has such a powerful, lovable personality. She's vibrant, perceptive, funny, very direct. She doesn't hide the fact that hers is a very particular perspective. Her perspective, firstly, is of course of a upper middle class Iranian family member. She doesn't hide the fact that that's where she's coming from. She has therefore certain privileges, but also certain responsibilities, certain problems that she's dealing with, coping with. And the second perspective that she offers is a woman's perspective of an Iranian woman, a Muslim woman, living in a culture that may not help her much in wanting to be herself. In that sense, she was very direct about all these challenges to being a woman. The trophy is fantastic when it comes to the art because it looks deceptively easy but her characters in their simplicity shine. They look childish and yet they also communicate very profound thoughts when they speak. And so we are led to see the characters as iconic in many ways. And also because for most parts, Satrapi growing up as a kid is dressed in hijab and then she looks exactly like everybody else in her story. That is also very wonderful because she's able to show the individuality even though visually we see similarity. And how to make a character stand out in that context? Do you have to have very powerful characterization, uh, storytelling skills to be able to do that. And so the work in that sense is beautiful because it's done just plainly in black and white. She doesn't even shade. And so the art themselves uh, have a very strong ink quality. They have very clear black and white sensibilities. Again, also forcing us to think about moral black and white. In all that, she is able to bring clarity into the issues that she wants to deal with. Join me at my lecture on Persepolis at how to fall in love with classics.